I have a question. If God wants you to be a porn star, what do you think Satan wants? To stop doing what I do? <laughs> <laughs> so I found these shots going on online and it's 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 very interesting then fortunately for me I was able to find another episode where this particular girl came on and she was asked this very same question over again. Let's go. So first we'll listen to what she said the very first time that she was on this podcast. Then we'll go back and listen to what she has to say the second time and see how much delusional she's gotten from the last time or how much of her senses she's using now. But before we go into this episode, if you're new to this channel, all you can do for me is subscribe. Click the notification bell so you don't miss my future update. Like this video, share, comment and do all those amazing things. And now that all of that is done, let's go. <laughs> I'm noticing I am wearing a cross. You're, you're wearing a cross. Yes. Do you consider yourself a Christian? I believe in God. Let me ask you a question. Do you wear your cross while you're engaging in producing porn or OnlyFans content? I always wear my cross. You always wear oh, your cross. Oh shit. I never okay, take so it off. Do you think that God approves of you doing porn, basically? Yeah, it's not hurting. What? So that was a f lie. They don't go to this same day, not hurting anybody. Why are you so delusional? So, somebody is afraid to speak to women. So, they pay you to talk to them as their girlfriend. It, it seems very simple, base. But the problem is, as you keep going, this person keeps depending more on you. So, their problem never leaves. Are you serious? That becomes a problem. If it's not an option, they will be forced to step outside and overcome their fear, their worry, their concern, their problem. And the thing about life is, if you're not improving yourself every day, you're decreasing every day. So if they're not overcoming that problem every day, they're getting worse every day. So you're killing these people because some of these people, I'm 100% sure, some of these people will end up doing worse to themselves than they started when they met you. So yes, you're hurting people, you entertaining them. Do you think God wants you making porn? God said that he loves everyone. Yeah, God loves everyone. Though. Okay, okay, I have a question. If God wants you to be a porn star, what do you think Satan wants? To <laughs> oh, Jesus! Son of Mary, where are you? Human said you wanted to do porn. <laughs> Finish that sentence, bro. What? what? Satan wants you to not do porn, and God uh, wants you to do porn. If I have, do I have that right? Yeah. Damn, bro. Get out of here, man. Sh I'm saying you can't be that dumb, bro. Like, nah, nobody's that dumb, bro. Like, nah. You know what? Th th that was her first time on the show. So now she's back again. Let's see if she's learned something. If after watching this particular episode, she realized her stupidity and she has better way to address this very particular question, which I'm hoping she did. Okay. Which I was gonna ask you, do you still think that I should wear a cross when I'm making the, my OF content? Well, we had a sort of viral exchange about that. The first thing I wanted to fir first bring up, bring up is your Instagram. Cindy Zhang, God first. Now, right below God first in your Instagram profile is a link to your pretty much redirects, essentially, to your OnlyFans account where you make pornographic content. That's interesting to me. So God first, it's almost blat. I don't know if, it's, if that meets the definition of blasphemy, but literally below it is a link to your pornographic content. Explain that to me. There's nothing wrong with the content that I make. What? I don't think God is shaming me for anything that I am doing right now. So okay. there's nothing wrong. That's not the best answer, but a, a good answer like, would be- What do you want me to say? Well, you might say hypocrisy is the tribute vice pays to virtue. I believe in God, but you're kind of doing things that maybe are contrary to that, but you're kind of working on it. And so I wouldn't, you know, the better thing to do would be keep the necklace and, you know, give up the OnlyFans stuff. But the fact that you've got that reminder there is probably good because there's, it's a reminder that we worship the things that we spend all of our time and our affection on, right? And so you can come to worship money and you can come to worship sex and you come to worship all sorts of false gods or you can worship the real God. And, and furthermore, you become what you worship. 
So the, the, <laughs> when you worship something, you just become more like it. And, uh, like, this guy is just spitting the fact. And, and Let me just shut the fuck up and learn. Because like he said, you become what you worship. These people worship money. And they say money is the root of evil. So the only tree that money grows is evil. You know? But the truth is, is the fact that these people love money so much, they are burying the humanity in them. They are killing it. They care less. And if you don't care for yourself, how would you care for someone else? And no matter how good you say, I'm a good person, I'm a, you don't care. You're only good to the people that are seeing you. The people that you're not seeing that are behind those screens, you're not good to them. Simple. And you're torn between two gods, right? So you're... and, and you're Torn between two gods, there's only one god. Oh, Lord. Again, a f Again. This guy look at Sesu. Now wait, is it because they do only fan they become dumber? Look, you can either worship the real god, can I worship the god of money, can I worship the god of sex? That's it. How, how more? Bro, chill. God, okay. Basically. Yeah. So, but, like, so you, you, and you're kind of. It seems to me. You're, I'm not putting anything above God. God is first, and I like. If, I pray every single day. I'm very blessed with my job. He actually blessed me with everything. I came from nothing, literally. That's the problem. He blessed me with everything. I came from nothing. That's me. No. Those are your tests. Are you willing to give up those vice for God? Just because you're making money doing the wrong thing doesn't mean God is blessing it, bro. Like, I don't know how best to explain this to you. All of you say the same thing. Why? Why? Unne, you get problem. You know, if you believe in God and you think that, like, uh, you believe in, like, the Christian God. Yeah, okay. So then, you know, you would say, well, um, there so there's things. God and then there's Satan. What I should have said on the other podcast was that. Well, Satan is trying to sway you from believing in God. Well, the, qu the question that I asked was, do you think God wants, wants you making porn? To your, and your answer was... I said, okay, the first time I said yes, yeah. but and then, what well, I, and I wanted to just change my response. Okay, like, I change it, let's go. There's nothing wrong with what I, what I do. Who are you? She's struggling to say the truth, and that's the thing. That's where that's where this thing gets interesting. That delusional mindset. Because if you say God don't want me to do only fun, then you're admitting that on doing only fun is wrong. So now she's not going to accept it. She's going to find an explanation to justify it. But how sensible is that explanation? That's what we want to know. The yeah. exchange we had, my my follow up question was: If God wants you to be a porn star, what do you think Satan wants? Say, say it wants you to sway you from believing in God's purpose. Wow! Beautiful! Okay, but your, so, res your response was Satan would want you to not do porn and God would want you to do porn. Yeah, my response was that. Mm -hmm. But like, I understand where you're saying like people are, can be lusting over porn mm -hmm. and like sex yeah. work content. You that's obviously their, don't really that's their, cho that's their choice. But what I'm doing, I'm not harming anybody. What? But, but you are helping people commit sin and you say you're not ha harming anybody. <laughs> you are contributing factor to their sins. So that makes you as guilty as they are. Yeah, I made this delicious meal that is poisoning people, but I didn't poison them. Bruh. What? No, you poisoned them. That one, there was a violation. Personally, I wouldn't have it. And the religion that you profess to believe in has a, a sexual ethic that, that accompanies it. And so you might say, well, I don't believe in any of that stuff. I just believe in a, a version of that, that God that I've fashioned after my own preferences. But that gets to the very point we were just talking about, which is you're in this struggle between which God you're, you're going to worship. And I, I can tell you're struggling with that because you, you protest too much. You put in your bio. I put God first, right, among all of this kind of lusty stuff. And so you're struggling with it. A lot of people struggle with that. I'm not struggling with it. I, I pray every day. I believe you pray every day. And, and I, keep, I still stand by the fact That's, that he's the, blessed. The problem like, is this, bro. Like, you pray every day, you, but you don't actually believe the God that you are praying to. That's where the conflict comes from. Understand that only God can fashion you in his image. We as human cannot fashion God in our own image. We abide by his rule. He don't abide by our own rules. And that's that's the problem. A lot of you try to make God abide by your rules. I'm going to do only fans and God is going to accept me. Now you're telling God you have to accept me the way I am. The same thing you tell men. I want someone to accept me for who I am. No, bruh. <laughs> Women. You got to make changes. You have to adjust yourselves. Whew, let's go. Ever since I got baptized and I started following God's path, he's blessed me with every opportunity I have 
been given to me and I'm very grateful I would the fact of like um you know like sinning from lusting and watching I get all that but that's their choice at the end of the day not mine um huh okay so it's their choice to lust and it's your choice to create the avenue for them to lust what are you saying <laughs> Oh, you're saying it's only it's only a sin to look at the porn, not to produce the porn. That's all she's saying. I'm not making porn on my on my OnlyFans. <laughs> we do not care. Yeah. We all sin though every day. We do. I'm, I'm just saying. Look, I'm I'm not knocking you. I'm not judging you. I'm just saying you you the fact that you would have that on on this page that has a bunch of porn on you. You say, but I put God first. I to me would imply that you are struggling between what you. I'm not struggling. Believe. Uh, so says you. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not I struggling. It. I believe in God every day, and I, I'm, I, I, I bet you do to a large degree. But when those two things come into conflict, when you say I believe in God, I believe in the Bible, I believe in Christianity, and God and the Bible and Christianity say, "Hey, don't engage in promiscuity and sexual immorality, and you know, sex outside of marriage, and this, that, and the other thing," uh, you're you have to face a choice. Well, do do I pursue that God or the God of do as thou wilt and go have sex and go produce porn or whatever those things are going to come into conflict and so you have to come to a decision and you can you can pick one or the other but that will become your god and you will become more like the god that you worship exactly okay well i worship a god that that's like walks on earth with grace and dignity and um i feel nothing wrong with what i'm doing right now if your chosen profession is sexual immorality how do you reconcile that with the the, the faith Okay, but still, like, there's nothing wrong with that. Even people who what? Are, the um, religion says there is something wrong with that, mm. and, and you say you believe in the like, religion. People will go so, go to mm. any length to defend this thing. Like what? Like, ha! Huh? There's nothing wrong in committing sexual immorality, which is the sixth commandment: thou shalt not commit adultery. But there's nothing wrong with it, huh? Like, what do you mean by that? Then you might say, well, I actually don't believe in the religion. But you, but you just said I you do. do believe in it. I exactly. do believe in so, God. So then how do you reconcile those mm. that conflict? There's nothing to reconcile because... The religion says don't do this. You say I'm going to do this. Mm. How do you... You have to reconcile that. Or or you have to say I don't believe in the one. I, I only believe in the other. He's no, not God. I'm, you don't have to like... I, I'm yourself. just saying like... There's <laughs> really nothing... Take, like, take what applies. <laughs> take what applies. Number one, drop like, whatever doesn't to you. Number one. Yeah. If that makes you happy. We, sin, we yeah. all sin. That's the second Number two... Said, which is, you know, make a God out of yourself and your own... Exactly. Economy. Just because you don't want to accept that what you are doing is wrong. Because the moment you accept that what you are doing is wrong, it becomes a responsibility on you to make changes. And you're not willing to change. Because that change means you don't get that money. So at the end of the day, it boils down to the money. And like I said, when every goddamn thing you think about is how to make that money, regardless of how, then you will hurt other people. I'm, well, I'm not you judging really you in any me. way. I'm just asking. So, but, I'm just, but of the information and, that yeah. he has based off, you know, you wear a cross while you shoot your pornography. Okay, and you can make you, that judgment. And I'm not making any judgment. You've you made, are. You, I'm not. You've made, you two, are, you've made two statements, and they contradict each other. That's right. You, you see, said, now we're I getting mean, defensive. Now we're getting angry. Now we're going, oh my God, we're throwing tantrum. <laughs> I believe in God. I believe in the Christian religion. I, I believe in the Bible and the Ten Commandments and all the rest of it. And I believe that the thing that I'm doing that is explicitly prohibited by my religion is good. And I'm saying you can only believe one of those two things. Exactly. Coherently because they contradict one another. And, and I'm, I'm not knocking you. I'm not saying you have to make an account of your life or anything. I actually believe you're most likely already struggling with that because you have both of those things very explicitly. I'm not struggling, Instagram actually. And, it's, and it would be unusual for people in your profession to have that kind of a profession of faith at the top. And I think it's good that you have it. And I think it's good that you wear the cross. And I think it's good that you're praying. But you're going to have to reconcile that conflict eventually. I don't think I have to reconcile anything. Oh, shit. Like, Can I say something? I still think that like God gave me this opportunity to do what I do, um, and I'm very happy. Wait, God gave you opportunity the opportunity to, do to make pornographic content? Yeah, that's what she's Adult saying. Content. Oh, excuse me. Adult content. Jesus Christ, like, what the hell is going on? Oh. It is what it is. It is what it is. Wow. These people know they fear God, do. Ha. Huh. Now, wow. You wear, uh, do you wear your cross while you're making the pornographic content? Like, is it, is it in the final product? Like, if you you're distributing... Jewelry, you wear it everywhere you go. Sure, but if so you're distributing if you're videos and photos... you're taking a picture, photos, making a video, it's gonna, you know... Yeah. 
That's not funny, I mean, I'm, not, I'm not gonna take it off when I'm like right because then, okay. then you would to have to acknowledge that there's a problem you think that the the pro prohibitions of sexual immorality in the Bible are just optional it's not optional it's, you have to follow his path and okay so if it's not optional if you have to follow his path then what, why are we having this conversation again like I don't partake in those acts uh, and but you you do I'm uh, like I'm not telling tales out of school you do partake in sexual immorality it's your job so you're saying okay the lying is bad I'm gonna follow that one the stealing is bad I'm gonna follow that one but ah, the sixth commandment we're gonna skip over that one and uh, what's the seventh one yeah I'll, I'll do that one that one too is that it you're saying some of it's uh, optional and some of it's mandatory or <laughs> I really don't <laughs> She's like, not I shit, really bro, do like... not think uh, there's anything wrong with my job oh wow so if the, if the Bible says it is, that there is something wrong, then you don't believe the Bible. Not everything in the Bible is true. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> hey! Who wrote those parts of the Bible that are not true? Because she said everything in the Bible is true. So, which... Oh, my God. The Bible Nickelodeon is donated is $200. Not everything is. You say you pray all the time, but you forget the important part, listening. Maybe God brought you here to realize the mistakes you're making and change. Instead, you get defensive and don't listen. That one, there was a violation. Personally, I wouldn't have it. I, sh I just feel like even like people who are a prostitute, who, who, like whatever, like in sexual content, they're, they're really not doing anything wrong. What? Stop it. Get some help. Hey, I don't die. We are a lost soul. Finally. So is her choice to then reject the religion? Uh, well, I wouldn't recommend that. Okay. I would recommend uh, uh, keeping your faith. Do you think that God loves everyone? Yes. Okay, so... But God loves you too much to keep you as you are, <laughs> is, is the reality of it. And so, I'm not suggesting you abandon your faith at all. I'm suggesting you abandon the things that you're doing that contradict your professed faith. Because otherwise, you won't actually have your faith. You'll, you'll, have, compu you'll have deluded yourself into telling yourself you believe in this religion when you consciously reject important parts of it. Wow, this is the ground ultimate stage of denial, delusion. Anybody can be, bro. What the fuck? The Ten Commandment is not for you to pick and choose. If you want to follow him, you follow him in all in all, toe and toe. Everybody's commit sins, people have forgiveness and all that. But you can't continue to live in delusion and continue to live in sin and say, Oh yeah, God got me. Oh my God. Like, mm -hmm. like shut up i think these people need the lord they need god that's it that's what i think go into the comment section tell me what you think and if you are new to this channel all you can do for me is subscribe click the notification bell so you don't miss my future update and on that note i say thank you once again for joining me on shortbox until i see you again peace